Alright, hey guys, how's it going? It's your boy Chevy here, and I'm back with another BMW video, of course. Um, so basically what we're doing today is we're going to be essentially just changing your central locking switch. Um, not really changing it, but essentially just a quick little fix in case yours currently is broken, because what's happening with mine is I'll show you guys right here in a second. So what's happening with mine, guys, again, every time I go to press it, nothing at all happens. Like the lock, they don't, they don't lock, they don't unlock. Nothing at all happens. And it's just, it's annoying. Um, yeah. The main reason for me why I find this annoying especially is because um, at times my door, I think my actuator is going, so at times I'll, I'll try to open it and it won't go stay in double lock and I have to hold and open my door and suppress the lock. But because the lock hasn't been working, sadly I have to take my hand, put out the window and unlock it from the outside because again, my, key, my car, my key fob battery is dead, which is like, yeah, so that's where I'm at. So again, it was nice when I used to unlock it, but now I can't, so I'm here to fix it. Again, of course, the part you can order off of Amazon or like eBay for like 15 bucks is the cheap part. Um, easy to fix, easy to do. Again, this is a temporary fix until I get the part in, because again, I'm tired of putting my hand out the window to unlock my car. All right, guys, so there's some, I heard some things where you can actually take, you can take like a bobby pin, put it in here, and pull this out entirely. Um, I've tried, it doesn't work for me. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and just remove this piece, this piece here. There's two screws underneath here. And I'm gonna go ahead and end up removing as well. Um, not removing entirely, but just pulling these parts out and removing it. So at least that was so I can lift this up and get underneath and pop, pop it up so I can go ahead and replace that. So yeah, give me a second. All right guys, for this part here, we're gonna do, we're gonna take your, hopefully you have one, a pry tool. And we're gonna do, you just wanna go ahead and go get it underneath here and just, um, just pry this part up. It's not hard. Um, these are two hands, of course, but again, just pry it up. It's just already coming up. And then, it just pops out like that. So, just pop that out. Um, you don't have to disconnect this portion here. The, um, the connectors, you don't have to. You literally just lift it up, move it up to the side like that. It's out of the way. And then, as I mentioned in here, there are two screws. So, you can see right there. There is screw one and screw two. I just want to pull them out. They're both flip sides, of course, and just go ahead and get that out. Alright guys, perfect. So once those screws are removed, of course you can see that you can definitely just go ahead and lift this up and pop it out. Um, this thing you can just literally, I guess, lift up and move to the other way. You're gonna need to get underneath later. Put your hand is underneath here. And you'll pop it up. Um, so again, so we're done with the front part for now. So I come to the back here. Basically, you're gonna wanna um, go ahead and remove everything out of the, out of here, and this should then move this together. So I have my phone first, and then pop this out just like that, and then. Normally, so normally there are screws in there, but I've, I've, I've put them back again. I don't find it useful to have screws. So again, there's two clips in there, there's right there and there. So the two clips, um, screw it, screws. Just want to remove those out, and then just pop this out. Um, again, then you come to a connector here, which which holds that was the light, of course. Um, so then with that, you're gonna want to. You see that you just want to pull it down there is a little tab on top of course these are two fingers of twins of course but you just want to go ahead and pull it down it'll come right out essentially and then that's yeah, out it just holds again it holds just the light itself and never just never put it in um sliding upward but yeah you're gonna move that and then once again there are more phillips head screws And there are more Phillips head screws. Alright guys, so I was just saying there are some screws um again in here. There may be, there may not be. All depends because you can see those markings where I had screws, of course, but I didn't put those there. The screws would be either there or underneath, or I'll show you. But again, this just covers since you right here just goes and covers your your um armrest here. So you just want to go ahead and pop that up. Place it over there. And then you're faced with the two screws that I have that are down here. Um, and then yeah, of course you do have a connector for the light in the cigarette holder. But again, this right here, you want to take off the screws. It holds this and connects the car um, the armrest to the metal portion of the car itself. So let's go and remove that. All right guys, so again, once you get to this point where that is out, you can see it is freely movable. Um, what I do recommend, of course, is putting the armrest up actually to be more room to work with um, when you want to move this up. You're gonna move this, move this up the way again because you move the armrest up. You can actually lift it up much higher with the armrest down. Actually, um, you're very limited in the motion, so move the armrest up. Go ahead and pop this out because, again, with the armrest up and out of the way, you want to go ahead and just 
you want to lift this portion from here, you can, if you're doing one handed like I am, but you don't have to, but I'm just doing like that. So you want to lift this and get this actually around here. This thing gives you more room, of course, to go ahead and get that. You can put your knees. Um, so again, you literally just have your fingers. Um, you can see my finger going underneath, underneath all the way. And you just want to pop it up. It is very dirty. And then, and then you have it out. So again, the main issue with this here is that essentially, um, over time, as you can see, mine's already um, cracked actually, the housing for it. So, so over time, as you can see, the housing for here is actually cracked. And what happens is when you push this, I don't know if you guys can see it, but when you guys push it, the whole housing's actually moving. Give me a second, we can get that for you guys. So I don't know if you guys can really see that. The housing base itself actually shifts with it. So maybe you can't see it come on very steady right now. But again, the housing, so the simple solution right now is you're gonna take um, either super glue or your tape. And what you basically want to do is you want to be able to push this back in and hold it up. So again, as you can see when I when I do hold that in and I press the button, the locks work as you can hear them. But again, when I'm not holding it in, the whole the whole base and everything moves. So it's not making contact. So again, you want to be able to push this in. Even if you push this in, it'll help as well. To an extent, of course, but the, the main thing is the bottom portion has to be pushed in and up, and that way it gives you that effect of opening and unlocking. So up for me, I'm just gonna go ahead and super glue um the I'm gonna push I'm gonna push it in here and put super glue corners back in because this is temporary and for me I'm gonna order the part, but it's just temporary. I know the tape that I bought because I'm with some dolls or won't even hold up that well. So I'm just super gluing tape it just to be safe, but this is mainly super glue I'm gonna be using. So as you guys can see, I kind of went like super crazy with it. Um, put a lot of glue there, um, connecting it there as well. So again, all I do is just hold it up, apply some super glue to it, um, and I'm gonna apply some tape just now. But again, super glue is the main thing because again, it does work. As you can see now, it just literally you just gotta and it works like every time. Again, over time, it's gonna probably undo. But again, I'm ordering the new part. This is just temporary fix of course and in case you guys were at all wondering this is how I essentially went about um, taping it together so as you can see it's um just taped ar around here and then um, this way it's good yeah in case anyone was wondering this this um, connector right here it's actually removable just by pulling it out um, you just need a bit of force because it's been there for a while and there's a bit of crud around mine of course but again just pull it straight out it'll come right out and you can replace it with a new part um, and this temporary fix but again it's working in I'm happy. Again, this still worked. This still had worked the whole time, but this one just malfunctioned. Well, but it's good now. I just put it back together. And guys, it is fixed. Quick little simple fix. It takes about five, ten minutes, depending on um, how you are and how you work with the car, of course. But again, simple fix, guys. If you guys did like it, definitely subscribe, share, like, and comment down below. Um, if this video did help you, of course, I do appreciate that. It does help me as well, supporting me. So again, thank you guys for watching the video. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.